In light of the holiday season, I've prepared a little poem for y'all, and I hope you enjoy. "'Twas the morning of Christmas, and all through the milk house, not a creature was stirring, not even the cows. The milking cloths were hung in the parlor with care, in hopes that the milk hands soon will be there. The whole scenes were nestled, ruminating in their beds, while visions of feed wagons danced in their heads. The cats in the barn and the calves in their huts had just been fed, and their sleepy eyes were shut. When out of the milk barn there arose such a clatter, the cows lifted their heads to see what was the matter. None of them got up, not one made a dash. They just laid there, chewing their cud, not acting brash. The moon at 3 a.m. shined super bright, giving the luster of midday to things at night. When what to their wondering eyes should appear but three Mississippi State milk cans in all winter year. With black rubber boots, hats, and gloves that were thick, the cows knew in a moment this wasn't a trick. More rapid than eagles were the milk cans when they came. They whistled and laughed and called each one by name. Walk up 764, 772, 768, and 811, on 678, on 721, on 746, on 777. To the front of the herd and to those still laying in their stalls, they heard the milk cans exclaim, Walk up, walk up, walk up, y'all! The milk cans spoke a few words and went straight to their work, wiped and dipped, then four-stripped with a gentle jerk. They hooked all the units right up to the cows. But they worked with such speed, spectators usually said, Wow! A teacup, teacup started to slip and began to squawk and whistle, but the milk harvesters responded with the precision and speed of a missile. The cows heard the milk hands exclaim as they left the parlor and disappeared out of sight. Low somatic cell counts to all. Have a Merry Christmas and good night.